Section 2.6, manipulating or manipulation of algebraic fractions, essentially um, combining algebraic fractions, factorising, cancelling, all that sort of stuff. Um, this is part of my ultimate revision guide to further maths GCSE, this is the algebra section. There's an index button here that will take you back to the index for algebra and down here there will be some links to some practice questions on these topics. So this first one, um, when we've got fractions, quite often what we're, we're, we're going to try and do is if we can factorise stuff that makes things easier to cancel. So we've got this 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 bracket on the, this uh, quadratic on the top here. We've got a quadratic on the bottom here. We'll just divide. Let's deal with that first because that's that's always quite easy to deal with. When you're dividing by a fraction, you just turn it around and, and multiply. So so turn it upside down and multiply. So what you're essentially doing is multiplying by its reciprocal. So we've got a times by 4x plus 1 over 2x cubed plus 3x squared. Okay, now this gives us some hints, this gives us some ideas, because if this is going to cancel, this is going to go into this, and something that factorises on the bottom here is going to go into this bit here. So that gives us some clues on what's going on. This um, this bottom bit here, um, let's actually write that up here, so 2x cubed plus 3x squared. That will factorise. Um, if we take out x squared, we're left with um, 2x plus 3. Now that's a hint. That's probably going to be something that goes into this. So if 2x plus 3 goes into this, then we'd have to have um, 3x, uh, 3x, uh, 3x minus 1 would be the other part of that. So let's let's just see if that works. So 3x minus 1 and 2x plus 3. So what I'm looking at here is this factorises to this. So I'm, when, I'm, when I've got something that, that, that uh, in this sort of format, I'm looking to see if there's anything that cancels top and bottom. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking something in here is going to cancel with something in there. And I'm guessing it's going to be this 2x plus 3. So what I've done then is I've figured out what do I need to times 2x plus 3 to get 6x squared and minus 3 and hopefully that gives us the, the 7x in the middle. So 3x times 2x is 6x squared. The minus 1 and the plus 3 is the minus 3. So what do I get in the middle? I get minus 2 and plus 9 which this yes, that gives me plus 7x. That works quite nicely. So that top part of the fraction is um, 3x minus 1, 2x plus 3. Um, Again, this is probably going to factorise into this. This is the difference of two squares. You've got 4x all squared minus 1 squared. So that's going to be 4x plus 1, 4x minus 1. That gives me my 16x squared, my minus 1, and then these two middle terms cancel because one's plus, one's minus. And I'm times that by 4x plus 1 all over, and we worked out this was x squared. 2x plus 3. So when you've got these fractions, there's a lot of clues in here to what will cancel. This will cancel with this, and this will cancel with that. So what we're left on the top, we're just left with the 3x minus 1. And on the bottom, we're left with this 4x minus 1 and this x squared. So x squared, 4x minus 1. Okay, and that's fully simplified. You don't multiply out of brackets. Um, technically, to simplify stuff, you should have them in the brackets. I know quite often when we're, we're doing questions we're sort of multiplying out brackets but um, it's actually simpler with the bracket in there so we'll leave that there. Okay this second one uh, we've got to combine the two fractions so we're going to make a common denominator and the common denominator is going to be well this is x minus 4 this is x minus 4 so we just need to make it out of x plus 1 x minus 4 and this is already out of that so that's 5x doesn't change and this one I need to multiply top and bottom by x plus 1 to get the same denominator. So I multiply by x plus 1 here. I multiply by x plus 1 here. So I get 4 lots of x. So I'm taking away 4 lots of x, take away 4 lots of 1, which is 4. And that gives me um, 1x minus 4 over x plus 1, x minus 4. And then that x minus 4 cancels that. That leaves me with 1 on the top because x minus 4 goes into x minus 4 once. And I've got x plus 1 on the bottom, so that cancels quite nicely to a fairly simple fraction. Okay, my last one. Well, um, when I've got quadratics, um, 
oh sorry, normally we, we'd only go as far as quadratics, but this is in the power of four. If it's going to be in power of four, that means that um, it's in the in the either it's going to be factorized. Um, you can take a, a, sing, a single bracket factor out of here. So we can take x squared out of that top one, certainly, to give us x squared minus 5x plus 6. Okay, so that's clear that clearly that can factorize that because the smallest term is an x squared. But this one, we've got x to the 4, x squared, and a number. Um, that's um, in a quadratic form. Um, if we just look at that as x squared minus 13x plus 36 and do that one, um, so we need two numbers that multiply gives 36, but um, add to give us minus 13. Um, is that going to be 9 and 4? So x minus 9, x minus 4. Okay, but it wasn't x squared, it was x to the power of 4. So that's actually x squared minus 9, because this needs to be double the power. And that's x squared minus 4. So we can treat it like a quadratic and just replace the x's with x squareds because that gives us the x to the power of 4. We multiply those two and then these are going to be powers of x squared to get 30 minus 13x squared. And that's just going to give us the plus 36 on the end. So we've got that divided by this. Um, so hopefully something's going to cancel in here with this. Um, Possibly. Let's just have a look at that. That what does that factorise out as? Um, three and two is it? So we've got x squared, x minus three, x minus two, all over this. Well, these are. That's what I'm spot this start with. X squared minus nine is different to two squares again. So that's x plus nine. Uh, x plus three. X minus three, and this is x plus two. X minus two. Gosh, look at that, x plus 3, that's a very tricky one, x minus 3, x plus 2, x minus 2. And then we've got some of those that cancel, the x minus 2 cancels, the x minus 3 cancels. And sort of that was the clue here, because we didn't have anything that cancelled, we factorised everything up to here, and it was looking at, well, how do I cancel those? Well, that was our clue that we needed to get one of these on the bottom, so that these little bits cancelled again. Um, so that leaves with x squared on the top and x plus 3, x plus 2 on the bottom. Don't be tempted to try and cancel any more there. Um, it'd have to be this whole th whole bracket we need to go to the top or this whole bracket and that doesn't work. Okay, so there's a few examples of fractions and algebraic fractions. Very difficult topic. Um, but obviously if you're at this sort of level you should start to be getting used to this sort of thing. Um, more practice obviously the better you'll get.